Hi everyone, welcome to Artres. A few days ago I posted a tutorial on how to host your website using Google Drive and a lot of people were interested in it. So I thought, what if we can do this using Dropbox in a much better fashion? So here you go guys, this is how we can host a website using Dropbox. First, go to your Dropbox and log in. As you can see, I already logged into my Dropbox account. Now open a new tab and go to Site. 44.com that is site 44.com click on sign in with dropbox to get started button now site 44 wants to mate with your dropbox so if you're okay with that go ahead and allow it now click on create a new website button here you can either choose your own domain or a subdomain which will end up looking like whatever you choose dot site 44.com i went ahead and picked a subdomain because it's free so let's give it a go as you can see we reached the terms of use let's pretend that we read it and click accept that's it you successfully created your website obviously this is not what you want you want to customize it right so let's go ahead and, and open our Dropbox account your website files will be placed in a folder called app as you can see in your website folder there's already a file called index.html if you have basic HTML skills you know that's your home page so let's see how a full-scale website that has few links and things like that in it will work in Dropbox so I uploaded some files in Dropbox under my website folder as you can see so let's reload our old page to see if it changed there you have it now let's talk about some of the customization site 44 provides to access the admin page go to site 44.com slash admin here you can view your usage and the number of sites you have created using site 44 under that particular Dropbox here you can also create additional websites now let's talk about the limitations this being free you can only create up to five sites per Dropbox account and you're limited to a bandwidth limitation of 100 MB per month I know it's limited, but it'll make a great resume page where you have less graphics, but more content in the textual form. So, you know, you won't use a lot of bandwidth. If you want, you can actually upgrade to personal or professional based on your monthly usage. So here's another tip for you guys. What happens when we mistype our URL? Obviously, it's going to lead to a 404 page, but what if we want to put our own 404 page? So I created a basic HTML file and I named it 404 and that's kind of important. You have to name it 404.html. After you created that file, go ahead and drag and drop that file into your root directory of your website. Now let's test it out. There you have it. That's my new 404 page. Now site 44 does allow you to password protect your website, but this only applies to websites using site 44 subdomain like I did. In the admin page, you will see a small log. If you want to password protect your website, click on the log and tap in the password and hit save. That's it fellas. Hope you guys tried this out. Leave a comment down below if you guys experience any kind of trouble. I'll be happy to help you guys out. If you guys like my wallpaper and want to download it, I've included the link in the description down below. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video. Hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas.